Hi, I'm Stacy Francis of Francis Financial. We're a fee-only independent wealth management firm focusing on supporting women who have lost a spouse or women who have gone through a divorce. Today, this video is to talk more about those of us who have lost our spouse. It's one of the most significant losses you could experience during your lifetime. But what I'm here to do today is to share that you can emerge stronger and also more capable to manage your finances. Various surveys show that 80% of all women at one point in their life are going to be the sole decision maker. They're gonna be on their own making their financial decisions alone. And that is you, but you're not, <laughs> you're definitely not on your own and you're not alone in any way. In fact, the average age of widowhood is a young age 59 and our life expectancy for women is 79 and beyond. So, you know, we're looking at several decades of managing finances on our own. And for some of us, we're, we feel very well equipped, but for quite a few of us, not so much. UBS just put out a survey and said that 23% of women uh, feel comfortable with long-term financial planning and investment management. That's a, a really small number. They share that they don't feel like they definitely they necessarily have the skills for this long-term planning. So hopefully you have a financial advisor. And if you do, fantastic. Now is the right time to get reacquainted, to update your financial plan modeled out to your age 95 and beyond, to relook at your investment portfolio based on your new needs, to make sure that it's tailored and customized to you. However, 80% of women leave their financial advisor within one year of their husband's death. We looked into why that is the case, and it typically is because usually the relationship wasn't necessarily with her. She didn't feel like the relationship was with her. It was more so with her husband. So how do you find the right financial advisor? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look for a fee-only fiduciary financial advisor. And fee-only means that they don't charge you commissions or get any kickbacks. You pay them either through an hourly fee or uh, based on a percentage of assets that you have with them. The fiduciary piece is really important. It's uh, essentially that person is required to do what's best for you by law, even if it hurts them. That's the kind of advisor that you want. Truth be told, Anyone can be a financial advisor. Anyone can call themselves a financial advisor. In fact, you could put a little placard outside your house and call yourself a financial advisor, and there you are. So you want to make sure that the person you're working with understands your financial situation, works with widows, has a certified financial planner designation, and has ideally decades and decades of experience. If you have any questions about finding the right financial advisor, feel free to reach out to us. We may be that advisor or we may not. We're not right for everyone, but we make a commitment to every woman we talk to that we will make sure that we find the perfect advisor for her needs. It was so good to talk to you. Again, if you have any questions, I'm Stacy Francis and you can reach out to me, Stacy, S-T-A-C-Y, at francisfinancial.com. Thank you.